So here's where you can get one of these modules and of course as usual it's from eBay and um, you can see they're really cheap about 99p each with free delivery again I always mention this I don't know how they can deliver it for that price I mean how can they even make any money on that I'm not exactly sure but anyway um, this particular seller is called bathroom 8 and you can see an image of the device there um, and it is the same one, although the inductor may be slightly different. Oh no, it's not, it's the same. So, um, there's the device. If I just go down, I may be able to read some more details about it. Um, okay, so it says input voltage range 3.5 to 18 volts. Um, we'll verify that in, in a minute or so. The output voltage, again, we'll verify that because that's these are questionable. Uh, the maximum input current we can verify that but it says here maximum input current 4 amps and input continuous current 2 amps and um, the reason for this is because this is continuous current without any breaks whereas this here is a switched current I mean if you switch a power source um, it's not as demanding on the IC so if you're switching you can get more, you can feed more amperage through it whereas if it's uh, constant then you can feed less current through it because it gets too hot. Um, so what else can we see? Uh, yeah, repeated stuff there. Adjustable boost module. So this is just one way that you can get this. I mean, people ask me for links sometimes, but there's sometimes not much point in putting links on because the links can die and stuff like that, and you you having to maintain things. But if you just type in on eBay. XL6009 um, you can customize it to however you like you can look in China only um, price lowest first or if you don't want to wait you can look in your own country that's up to you but um, if you go to Google and sorry eBay and type in XL6009 you'll find um, that there's quite a lot that look like this and um, I can vouch for these they're good modules anyway now I think it's time to have a look at the documentation Okay, so now I'm looking at the documentation. XL Semi, and um, the module or the IC name is XL6009, which is, of course, what this board uses. So let's have a quick look. So this claims here, and I'm more uh, happy to trust this documentation rather than eBay sellers. It says wide 5 volts to 32 volts input voltage range. So um, that's what the actual manufacturers have uh, specified. So, yeah, 5 volts to 32 volts. Positive or negative output voltage. Program with single feedback pin. Um, that doesn't really matter to me. Um, because remember, this is already set on a board for us. Um, let's see if we can find anything else of interest, though. Uh, switching frequency. So this thing itself was actually switched. Maximum 4 am amps of switching current, okay. Built in over voltage protection. High efficiency up to 94%. I think that will be though, if you're switching from probably 30 volts to 32 or something like that. I think it will be close, you know, when, you, when the input and the out output are close. Um, soft start function, that's interesting. Current limit function, well, that's interesting too. Uh, it should be able to uh, save its own life, if you know what I mean, with these restrictions. Um, wide range input, a wide input range, current mode, DC to DC converter, generating a possible positive or negative output voltages. It can be configured either as a boost, flyback, SEPIC, or inverting converter. Uh, and then it goes on. Let's see what else it says. Some information on the pins. Of course, we don't need that though because it's already um, soldered up for us. Absolute maximum ratings 36 volts, and uh, I take it that means minimum uh, minus 0 0.3 volts. This is pushing it to the limits, though. Oh, there you go. There's a sample here. So, if the input voltage is 12 and the output voltage is 18.5, uh, 
with 2 amps across it is 92% efficient. That's ok actually. And there are a few more details. Um, some of these don't interest me too much. Oh, there's a bit of information there about the shock key diode. 5 amps, that's interesting. Some example circuit diagrams. And that's it. So anyway, um, I hope this video helped you. And um, if you're interested, maybe give one a go. Thanks for watching. Bye.